everyone welcome back to our channel go dynamic it in this video we are going to show you how to use rufus to create a bootable usb drive for installing windows 11 rufus is a free and reliable tool that make it easy to install operating system like windows linux on your computer we'll walk you through the entire process from downloading rufus to creating your bootable usb drive We'll discuss about the MBR, GPT, UEFI and all the features of the Rufus. Whether you have a new PC or older one, Rufus is a great utility to have it in your toolkit. So let's dive into the video and build Windows 11 bootable disk. This is my system. So first we have to go and download the Rufus. So we have to go and type Rufus in the Google. The first link will come. So we have to go to the first link and we have to scroll it down. And you can see here, this is the latest version is 4.5. This is for Windows 64 bit so just go ahead and click this one okay it's not downloaded so refresh your page and you have to i think click one more time okay so you have to click two times to get this software you can see this software is downloaded this is a very tiny software just a 1.4478 kb okay now you don't have to install it this is the executable program once you download it just execute it now you can see um, this is the interface of uh, this uh, application so very first we have to select your drive so basically when you have a multiple drive, you have to select drop down option. But when you have a single one, it will automatically de detect. So this is my 16 GB pen drive. And it says that select your ISO image. So you can select the ISO image from Linux or Microsoft and either any of this operating system, you can, ISO file you can select. Today's we are going to create a Windows 11 bootable USB. So let's go and find our Windows 11 ISO. So you can see this is the one which we have downloaded in the last video. If you want to see how we have downloaded it, you can go ahead and watch it on my channel. So you can see this is selected now. See it carefully, it says the image option. So you have a Windows, a standard Windows installation, and then you have a Windows to go. So what is the difference between both of them? I'll tell you. So Windows standard installation is normally how you go and install it. You boot from the pen drive and then you ask you a few questions. You enter all these answers and it will ask you for the installation. So this is the standard one. And what is USB? What is Windows to go? This Windows to is like a live CD. So remember that in the Linux, all the almost all the Linux are coming with a live CD. So first you burn the disk onto your USB. So it will boot from that particular USB. And then you feel and look and feel of the all the operating system features and all. And if you like that, then you go ahead with the installation. So this is how the Rufus says that if you have a ISO from this ISO, you can make a USB live disk. Now let's talk about the partition scheme. So it says first is GPT. The, we have a two option. First is GPT and second one is MBR. So MBR is uh, the old legacy one. So when you have an older motherboard, you have then you have to go with the BIOS or you have to go with this option, MBR option. But when you have a GPT option, you have only own option is UFEI. So GPT is like all the modern motherboards, all the modern laptops that's coming with the GPT option. Also. And there is one more thing. So let's say if you want to make the like a dual boot system, like when you have Windows 7 or Windows 10. So you have to go with the MBR option. In the MBR option, when you select this, then you can then only you can make the bootable disk from Windows 7 and Windows 10. But when you select the GPT, you will not get a Windows 7 option in the bootable light. On the modern operating system also, if you want to go with this MBR option, you have to go to the BIOS and disable this UEFI like secure boot in the BIOS you get the secure boot or UEFI just go inside that and disable it and you can go with this MBR option yeah this is about the volume so if you want to change the, this is about the pen drive name of the pen drive so I don't have a problem to go with this or you can say that uh, Windows 11 Windows 11 latest you can give the name like Windows 11 latest and the NTFS will be as it is cluster size will be don't touch this cluster size let it be as the default once everything is done you have to click on the start let's click on the start oh i have selected windows to go sorry for that we have to select the standard windows installation and click on the start it says this is the default option is coming so let it be as selected as it is and click on the ok click on the ok so while this is creating the operating system i'm not going to hold you because it's going to take some time on it so in the next video we will see how we go with the windows to go option we'll make a bootable pen drive and we'll try to boot it from it and let's see how it is going to work right so once this process is complete we'll come back again okay so now you can see this is uh, this bar is green and they says that's ready now our pen drive is ready to install the operating system on the legacy computer you can see that i have created the mbr also i think we have covered the, all this okay so that's it for today's video if you have any questions query or any feedback related to this video please do let me know in the comment box thank you very much for watching